It is February, it is the stretch drive, and for the UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks, uh, two at home this weekend. The University of Vermont comes to town Friday night and Saturday night at the Sanger Center, both for 7 o'clock starts. We are joined by the head coach of the River Hawks, Norm Bazan, and Norm, uh, all games are important at this point in the season. I know Vermont's record isn't great, but we have first-hand experience that tells us they can be a tough opponent. No question. I have a lot of respect for the Vermont club. Obviously, they beat us the last time out, but uh, they've always been very uh, dangerous. They've got an excellent power play, and it should be a good matchup. For this River Hawk Hockey Club, what is the focal point? I assume it's about us on this team playing its game. Well, it, it is. I think every single weekend is about us playing our game and to the best of our abilities. However, you have to take notice of, uh, of their D attacking. They've uh, scored 33% of their offense, are very lethal. Their power play is very strong, so we're going to have to contend with both those factors. This Riverhawk team this week, a, a couple of honors. Uh, Karen Swallow was named the uh, player of the or rookie of the week in Hockey East. And what jumped out at me, just looking at his numbers, he is second in Hockey East and plus minus at plus 16. It's something we often overlook when we look at goals, assists, and he's got those. But he's been a complete player in his freshman year. Yeah, so far. I, I think some of the NHL plus minus is going to be somewhat misleading. Uh, however, he's had a good season so far, so we're hoping he can keep it going. Honors as well for Doug Carr, named the Hockey East uh, Goaltender of the Month for January. And I guess we should expect it. I was going to say, I hate to think I'm taking him for granted. He has just been so consistent and so solid for this club. Well, he has been. I think it's um, it's the stretch drive here, the 10, uh, 10 games that are left will determine what a season looks like for the regular season. But he's been awfully good for us, and he's been a real pillar of, uh, of strength back there and, and a presence that's a calming effect for some of the young guys. As you point out, 10 games left, stretch drive. Is the pressure on this hockey club? Is the pressure on the coaching staff? Well, I'm not sure. I think if, if, if there is, it's self-inflicted because we're in fifth place and uh, I, don't, uh, I don't think they hand anything out to a fifth place team. It, it's, it's a tough league. You're not far off a of first place and you're not far off a of last place. So you, it's really a very difficult league and this weekend's very important and the next weekend after that's going to be more important. As I said earlier last week, every weekend uh, takes on a new meaning and takes on more importance than the last. So. We're taking it one weekend at a time, and we're not looking too far ahead this time. Do you almost get to the point of taking it one shift at a time? Well, it's, uh, you'd like to say that, but uh, one, one uh, weekend at a time is important for us because we've looked ahead a couple times this year and it hasn't been very good for us. So for a young club like us, I think we've got an awful lot of good things, but uh, maturity is not quite there yet to, to forecast too far ahead. When we, I think when you... Uh, at the news conference, when you accepted the job as the head coach of this hockey program, you talked about first getting home ice. And you, you looked at it step by step. I think first was home ice, uh, second was doing well in, in the Hockey East tournament, and then you begin to think about a national tournament. Do those goals in your mind ever change, or first it's simply about getting home ice? Well, right now that's a focus, quite honestly, and, and I, I alluded to fifth place, and I'm not making fun of that. The fifth place in Hockey East is very strong. However, it's still not home ice, as you know. So we're really looking to, to earn one of those home ice bursts. And uh, 10 games left, it's in our hands. I guess it's nice to be in that position where, in effect, if we take care of business, we'll do all right. No question. I think uh, for any team to say that at this point in the year, you can't ask for anything more. For you, does this weekend come down to one thing? No. It, it comes down to multiple things. Uh, we have to take care of business on the ice, but also uh, uh, pay attention to some of Vermont's strengths that I alluded to earlier. Their defensemen are playing awfully good hockey, getting involved in the play. So our forwards are going to have to do an excellent job on defense. Their power play has been something, something to really pay attention to. And I really like Stahlberg and, and Reynolds, two excellent hockey players that have, uh, have been hard to play against uh, in our one outing against them. So there's an awful lot of things to, to respect out of their team, but we have to, to, to also remember what we do well, and we're going to have to concentrate on some of those things here come uh, Friday. And I guess finally I do want to mention Josh Holmes, I thought he was terrific last weekend, uh, in part because of game-winning goals in both games, but in part it seemed that, that he does some of those things that I hear you uh, pound the table and preach to this hockey club about going to the net, 
um, as well, and obviously playing both ends of the ice, and it seems in a lot of ways he epitomizes that. No question. I think you hit a nail on the head. He's uh, he's an honest hockey player, and he's, uh, he had a terrific weekend last weekend. It's probably his best weekend that I've seen since I'm here. However, every single week he's been very honest, and uh, he, he's a coach's dream in the sense that he does what you talk about all week long. And then he was rewarded uh, offensively for some of those uh, uh, great things he does defensively last weekend, so I'm happy for him. All right, Norm, I thank you for your time. Again, we remind people, Riverhawks home both Friday and Saturday nights. 7 o'clock starts, University of Vermont in town. Norm Bazan, we thank you very much. Thank you, Bob.